The Boeing 787 was rolled out of the hangar exactly 11 years, 3 months and 6 days at the time of this recording. Now this was a big milestone for the Boeing company and according to the numbers from Boeing's PR team, more than 100 million people viewed the live stream of the 787 rollout, making it the most successful rollout ever. Now this was meant to usher in a new form of travel, making it easier for both passengers and airlines on medium and long haul travel. However, there was one problem. The plane that was revealed had very little resemblance to the ones flying today. Instead, it was merely a Dreamliner fuselage with no systems installed and most of the parts attached with temporary fasteners. In reality, it was very far from the real functioning plane. Now, the development story of the 787 is well known to many people. Initially planned for entry into service in May 2008, the 787 suffered 8 separate delays between 2007 and 2011. The reasons range from supply chain problems, weight problems, design issues and even a blowout in the Trent 1000 engine. Due to this, Boeing delivered the 787 3 years later to ANA. Now the first set of 787s were overweight by several tons and the poor performing engines didn't hit their targets for fuel consumption. On top of that, Boeing had to pay out hundreds of millions of dollars in compensation to customers because of the performance guarantees they signed for the plane. Now in 2013, the 787 was grounded for more than 3 months due to the plane being defective and the reason was due to the lithium batteries which had a risk of inflammation. In total, the 787 has cost Boeing approximately $32 billion and for comparison, the 777 has less than $4 billion of the same costs. Now Boeing must get a return of $22 billion from another 700 or so deliveries and achieving a profit of around $30 million per airframe. Now this is a quite unrealistic figure for Boeing at the moment and the likelihood is, is that Boeing may not be profitable until more than 1400 deliveries have been made. Despite the early issues however, every single 787 that rolls off the production line today more or less fulfills the promise of the program when it was launched in the early 2000s. The 787-8 and the 787-9 are the most fuel efficient and economically efficient jets of their size and both types have enabled many new routes to be launched, take for example Norwegian and Scoot who would have never operated the flights they do without the 787. But it's not entirely correct to say that airlines fly point to point using the 787 because most of the airlines still fly the Dreamliners from hubs or focus cities. But one thing is for sure and that is that the Dreamliner has enabled airlines to fly longer and skinnier routes from hubs to spokes all around the world. For example, Air Canada now flies to India after years of struggle with services like from Toronto to Delhi and Mumbai. The 787-9 has also enabled them to operate routes which would have been very difficult to do so with another aircraft. Now initial customers like a and and Japan Airlines use the plane to expand to Europe and the US. British Airways use it for North and South America, Hainan Airlines has expanded into Deep Asia and also Europe and the list goes on and on. But perhaps the most innovative use of the 787 is for ultra long haul travel. Only a select few planes are able to fly ultra long haul such as the 777-200LR, the A340-500, the 777-8X, the A380 and also the A350-900ULR. Now the first airline to use the 787-9 for ultra long haul flight was United Airlines on San Francisco and Singapore. The flight test was so successful that United Airlines expanded to Los Angeles and Singapore. Meanwhile, Qantas has gone a step further and now operates the second longest flight from Perth to London. Now, if the 787-9 in particular continues to find use as an ultra-long haul plane, then it will end up being even more transformational than Boeing's most optimistic project. So looking back in hindsight, even though the 787 was plagued with issues and is still being plagued with issues due to the Rolls-Royce engines, at the end of the day, the Dreamliner has met and exceeded the expectations of its customers.